Unification is when you get people to work together. See, another reason a lot of people don't, don't get the money they want in this business is because they stuck on implementation. It's gotta come through me. I gotta do presentation. Your team ain't growing because you still the only one that know how to edify. Your team ain't growing because you the only one that know how to close. Your team ain't growing. See, you got to have people who know how to do these things because you've actually done it. When you get a bunch of people to come and work together, that's number two, unification. Now you're going to another level. See, why you think game change is so important? Why you think the state of the team address is so important? I got to bring all these personalities, some young, some old, some black, some white. Some come from two parents, some come from single parents. Some were adopted. Some never had money. Some of y'all got money. I got to bring all these people together and make sure we stay unified. When you learn how to manage people and bring unity and keep everybody uplifted, that's the unification stage. You pass implementation at that point. Remember, the person who manages the person who drops the fries makes more money than the person who drops the fries. You see? So if I'm at McDonald's, and I'm managing the people in the drive-thru. I'm managing the person that dropped the fries. I'm managing the person that works the counter. The manager makes more money than the person dropping the fries. These are, le these are value levels. Value levels. Not to be confused with what we call management mode, where you're not dropping the fries no more. In our business, that's peak and interest. Right, you're not working drive through no more. In our business, that's cash flow conversations. You need to know how to do those things, keep doing those things, but you also need to know how to teach people how to do those things. That's unification, right? Don't bring division to your teams. Very important. If you bring, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the number one thing that that in in that marketing period that brings a lack of unity, de edification, de edification. Always uplift each other. Always talk positive about your upline. Always talk positive about your sideline. If your team ever sees cracks and division, you might as well put a bullet in everybody. It's over. Because what, believe it or not, and this is why people say this about our organization, until the money rolls in, do you know the one thing keeping y'all together is this positive vibe, atmosphere, and the dreams and goals that we have as a group? You can't put no cracks in that. So before you make a thousand a day and before you make five dollars a day and before you make, you know, a hundred dollars a day or whatever, people love the fact that they finally around some people that's goal driven and oriented. When you start de-edifying, your whole house is going to come down. I've seen it. I've seen it happen in Extra Digit. I've seen it happen in previous teams when I was younger. I've seen it happen around me in MWR. I've seen it happen in other organizations. A lot of y'all may not know, but I consult with a lot, of the, a lot of the top networkers in the industry are my friends. Like we talk all the time. I'm like, what y'all doing these days? What y'all what doing? Are we doing this and that? And I hear the stories of how whole empires crumble from within because they start de-edifying each other. Start making a little money. Start getting jealous of this girl. Start getting jealous of that guy. Start getting jealous of this young lady. Start getting jealous of this person. I'm like, man, whew, I hope we don't go through that. I know we will because money just does something to people. But be ready for it. Stay unified, de-edifying or talking negative about a person's sideline, about a person's upline, about a person in your organization. Don't do nothing but eventually cause cancer. And you're going to look up, you're going to wonder why, no, oh, my team ain't growing. It's because you put some poisonous pills out there. They're not even going to say nothing. They're just not optimizing. They're not operating at an optimum level no more. So de-edification is the number one thing that kills number two. Can you bring people together? Or are you de-edifying and creating more dissension than anything? That's an old habit a lot of people have, man. They love division. Do y'all know some people don't function? Some people don't even function good if there's not um, drama. Y'all know that? Forget drama queens. A lot of dudes are drama kings. A lot of people don't even function well if there isn't drama in their life. Because what happens is they feel like... Um, if they putting out fires, they doing something. So they'll create the drama. So they'll have some water to put out. I'm, I see it all the time. They'll create some drama. So now they feel busy. 
I had to go handle that, you know what I'm saying? But they good now. We just had to have a, you know, serious conversation. But we straight, you know what I'm saying? A little bit in the eye like a man. And we good. And you feel like you you you, you beating your chest, bro. But all you doing, have y'all put anybody into a cash flow conversation? How many people you sign up today by passing out the sheet and helping people change their lives? Or are you starting fire so you look like the man who handle everybody's problems? Some people aren't good if there isn't drama in their life. That's why they de-edify other people because they not happy with themselves. Unification is the key, getting two or more people to agree and move forward.